All right, so let's talk a little bit about the PGA. Uh, the Players Championship concluded yesterday. We're recording this on a How Tuesday. So and on a Monday. Yeah, a final round on a Monday. Most people not knowing that there was a delay for the second round. We actually had some buddies down there. Sammy two times. Yes, sir. And Connor, who you guys saw on our on our uh, latest tea party, they were down at the Players Championship this weekend, which holds the biggest purse in all of the uh, PGA Tour events at $20 million. The homie, Cam Mullet Smith is what that? I'm going to call him. What a stash. Cam Mullet Smith winning the PGA Championship yesterday in a wild final round. Bur- uh, one putting eight of his last nine holes <laughs> after a slimy duck hook on the 16th par five. Somehow finds a way to make par. Goes to the 17th Island Green, takes one of the most aggressive lines I have ever seen on that hole, puts it to four feet, taps in the bird, and is able to finish it out on the 18th and win the PGA Championship. What a the PGA the Players Championship. Players. Fuck man. What a, <laughs> what the a Players stash, Championship. What a stash in that lab, dude. Too. Oh my goodness, dude. I mean, you, you can get yours like that. Look, it's coming uh, in. It's coming in. Nah, get, it's, it's gonna get too long. Kim, it's gonna Smith get way too in. long. It's gonna get way too long. Now, nah, shout out, shout out, Kim. three point five, three point six mil- million dollars six. on that. Our fault, Cam. You getting guys like what? What did Max Homa come in? Um, so he would have he was, to. He be, was outside. I, the top, I think top he, was outside, he was outside the top ten. He was outside the top These ten person because he had twenty k, three hundred twenty k. You kidding um, me? I also want to shine some. Dustin light Johnson on, made yeah. a, a three hundred grand chipping for Eagle. Talk about that, bro. Yeah, like eighteenth hole, he's about like eighty yards out, maybe a hundred yards out, and the pin is up on the on the basically like a second deck on the back side of the green. Chips it up and makes an eagle on the par five eighteenth, and is able to. Uh, <laughs> he's able to purse an extra 300k from that because he eagled that and went from 500 to set five under to seven under so the crazy thing what about did he, that did, though, he, did he do the typical dj walk did he just put his head down with the, and he just just did it, it and like smiled and just like put his hand up because ah. it was like whole, like and i i don't think these i, I really want to know if these guys know when they put themselves in these situations like do they really know that, like, yeah, that just fucking made me an extra 250K? God, like, no. you know, like, he, he was, if well, he didn't do that, he was going to have, he was going to finish with, if he parred that, he was going to finish with 201,000. If he, since he, he equaled that and went to seven under, he made 525,000. So you guys do the math. It's <laughs> a little over 220,000 extra on that chip in. So, like, if you look at it, it, and this is his, the craziest way to look at it. That shot was worth 223K, 224K. Like, a cra- that's the weirdest a weird way to look at it. A weird question I kind of have when it comes to PGA guys. Like, do you think, because they seem so nonchalant, like three and a half million dollar putt for Cam Mully Smith, like you said, 200K chip in for DJ. Like, even HV3 had a nice t- uh, uh, last round to get himself in contention, make a nice little back. That was like 600K. Yep. Like, do you think it's. More of like just the love of the game. I want to get a chip. I want to be first. I want to be on the leaderboard. Not really like the purse of the money that I get for getting said spot because I'm making money off of, say, Taylor Made or, or yeah. Titleist. Like, what do you think is more important to them? More important is definitely like winning. So the guy that got second purse, like 2.2 million, and was <laughs> and so like, oh my. in his post game presser was like, or post, you know, tournament presser was like, you know, I've been here for nine years and I've never heard of this guy before, but. I, he was like, you know, I've been here for nine years and I was one step away from winning. Like, all he wanted to do was win. Right. It's And he was like very frustrated when he like, he had to like basically chip in to tie to force the playoff and he just missed it. It was a really great effort. Uh, and he just tapped in and ended up losing. And you can see him give his putter back to the caddy and he's just like really frustrated with himself, like shaking his head. And I'm like, that's what's crazy. This dude's still walking away with over 2.2 motherfucking. That's that's what I'm saying though. I don't think he did. I don't think I am. I'm saying like I don't think the money from the tournament is really what it is. Like 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 if you're playing, I've been playing for nine years. Who was the dude? Oh my god! And the Masters, like 50, 60 years old, still playing the Masters. Like Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck about the money. I want to be on the fucking leaderboard. Like I, I know Taylor May is gonna pay me, and all the motherfucking Bristol is gonna pay me. Like fuck the purse. Because you think of it, I need to chase my legacy. Like most of the time. Those events, you're you're not even going to make nearly half of that if you win, right? Right. So yeah, that's crazy. Like, that's the one where it's like, yeah, the money is the biggest one there. You make the cut. That's the six figure fucking. Win. Yeah. Now again, I I really I I I think it's ten percent or twenty percent goes to the caddy. Um, mm, imagine. Oh, Cam Cam Smith's caddy went to the strip club. Oh my club. god. Yeah. Two hundred k. He raked. Oh man. He raked. 
Um, for reading lines, bro, you could do that the shit. Bags, the bag's got to be heavy as fuck, and I don't know if I could <laughs> be able to do that for like a five and a half. What kind hour of shape do you think fucking caddies are in? Because sometimes, dude, they're fucking they they're hauling like the hot days, like they, and they got to be in the full suit too. I yeah. I ain't never seen no caddy in short sleeves and shorts. I ain't nah, never bro, seen it. They got the most of them have like the sun sleeves sometimes too. Oh, um, but we have to give some credit to Cam Smith as well okay. because a lot of this was for his family and. I, I learned this shortly after, but he hasn't seen his sister and his mother in two years because of COVID, um, of them living in Australia and not being able to come over and vice versa. He lives very close to where uh, where TPC is in Jacksonville, outside Jacksonville. So um, he was able to go get them from the airport, and then they were able to come and watch him win this. So that was really cool for him to be able to win this in front of his family, who he hasn't seen in two years. Um in his post game press conference, he uh, he was choking up explaining that because you know it's got to be this such a meaningful thing. I was reading this article, I was watching that on TV, and when he said that, I was like blown away. I was like, I couldn't even imagine. Like, you're still doing your thing seven years, and you know you're you're can't do that in front of your family, and like they have to watch on the TV. Guys, we got time. We got to get on top of this, guys. Like like the whole gang, Kenny, Jerry, Bo, Cap. We got to get a narrative guy. Like, how are we missing this? His family's coming to watch him play for the first time in two fucking years. We need to be on top of these narratives. Yeah, Steph Curry's bad. birthday was last oh. night. Had, like, 37. We got to be on top of the narrative. Somebody tweeted, bro. Somebody tweeted yesterday, and they said, um, I forget who it was. I keep seeing him because he's winning. But he was like, Steph for five threes and Steph for 35. And he was like, yep, just because yep, yep. it's his birthday. He hit a fucking parlay for it. No, I feel for bad. I don't whale. know his username. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot. Oh, my God. He hit or a parlay his whatever, for a yeah. whale. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's a great narrative. Like, I just, it was so funny. Like, when he was walking up to 17 after he hit that shot, I was like, you know, would I ever have seen myself, like, you know, winning, putting him as a winner? And I'm like, top, he top ten ranked, know. right? He top ten ranked. Yeah, and I'm just sitting there like, I don't know if I would have put him. Like, I don't know if I would have picked him. Like, I think I was, I was leaning towards Rory, who finished in like tied for thirty third at three under. And that's Cam his tournament too. Okay. Let's also uh, one of the last points we'll make here is Cam had ten birdies in that round. Come on. Um, Come on, Dustin Johnson with that eagle. Another quick stat here: Dustin Johnson with that eagle on eighteen tied the course record at sixty three. Shot a fucking 63 in the final round. Nine I didn't even know that because it was getting overshadowed by, by Kim's uh, yeah. 66, which was still crazy. But damn, DJ. Yeah, tied course record. Damn. And like, it's just funny to look at that. So he finishes at seven under. That means he was two over going into Off the top day. of your head, do you know crazy. Do you know Tiger's lowest score? Uh, I'll t- do, you, do you happen to know? I don't have, not, not his lowest I score. If he's touched I mean, like I know Jim Furyk. I know Jim Furyk bit down in like 59 before. <laughs> um, I forget where that what was. What do you do? Yeah. What do you do after you shoot a 59? I, what would you do? I just don't play again. <laughs> <laughs> I, I beat the game. <laughs> I literally beat the game. The game is mine. The game is over. Okay? The game is over. Put my balls up in the clubhouse. What did Derek Lewis say? My balls was hot. Thanks. <laughs>